Hello everyone, I am Harsh and today we are going to learn how to delete the tab item from the tab control. Like we want to add the close button to all the tab control which we are creating on new click. And I will add the functionality to close this tab item. Before we dive in, if you are new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So without wasting time, let's get started. Okay, so now I will add some tab control here. Here we want the close button, right? So to add the close button, we have to change the header template for this tab item, right? First, I will delete this height so that it will look good. Okay, now it's a fill the empty space, right? Now I want to change the header template. Let's change it. I already have the style for the header template, so I will paste it here. Now let's run and see. Now let's add some tab. You can see we have this close button, right? Now we have to add the functionality for the close button. So for that, I will create the action trigger. So let's create it. I will add the close action trigger in the bridge map project. Okay, let's add the action trigger. I will add class and here I will say close action trigger. Okay, now we have to inherit this class from trigger action of type button because we want to add this action trigger to the button control, right? Now let's add the namespace for this. I will mark it public let's override the method here we will write logic to delete the tab item from the tab control so for that first we need to find the tab item and then tab control so that from the tab control we can delete the tab item right so here i will say param equal to parameter as routed event args okay now we will check if param not equal to null then we will find the tab item so i will say tab item equal to find control this find control method i will generate and i will make it generic here i will pass tab item now here we have to pass dot original source as dependency object okay now let's generate this method okay now i will make it generic i will return t and here i will say child and then where t is dependency object okay now here first i want to find the parent okay so i will say where parent equal to visual tree tree helper dot get parent and here i will pass child okay we will check if parent not equal to null then i will cast it to t okay parent as t and then we will check if p not equal to null then return p okay otherwise we will recursively call this find control method of type t and then here i will pass parent okay otherwise return null okay so from this method we will get the tab item so we will first check if tab item is not equal to null then we will find the tab control how to find that i will say where tab control equal to find control and then tab control okay here i will pass tab item okay now we will check if tab control not equal to null then delete the tab item from the tab control okay not equal to null then tab control dot items dot remove and then pass tab item dot content okay now let's add this close action trigger to the button how to add that to add that first we have to add the namespace i equal to behavior namespace this one okay now here i will add the trigger how to add that i dot interaction dot trigger and then i will add the namespace for the close action trigger so let's add it close equal to i will paste this okay now let's add that close and then i will copy the name before that we have to add the when to execute this trigger right so for that i want to execute this trigger on click right so i will add i event trigger and then event name which is click and inside this we can call this close action trigger okay now let's build it now build is succeeded now let's run and see let's add the tab item let's close it you can see this is not working let's see what is the issue here let's add the breakpoint here and see if it hit this breakpoint or not let's run it let's add some control click on close button it's triggered here let's see what is the issue here Okay, we are getting tab item as null. Let's see what is the issue here. Find control. Okay, here we have to return it. 
now let's continue let's click on close now we can see we are getting this now you can see that tab item is removed right i will go to toolbar view model and here i will remove this plus plus from here now if you click the new then you can see new one this is the file content one right let's add multiple let's close it you can see tab item is closed right so here we have two issue if you found this issue then write in comment in next video i will explain that issue and i will solve that issue that's all for this video if you found this video helpful let's share with your friends